Welcome everyone. Um, the idea behind this presentation is to um, act as a, as a way into this second evening of the first Frogans conference. Um, yesterday, for those uh, that were unable to attend either through the live stream or in person, um, we did a lot of background presentations on the Frogans technology. Uh, and this really is uh, a direct follow-on from that. So as a primer for this evening, what we wanted to do was to give you a high-level idea of why we think uh, Frogans as a technology is important and why it will, we're certain of it, have a strong impact on internet users. Next slide, please. So the first thing to say is that um, the idea itself may seem a little crazy. Uh, the web seems to work. Uh, the internet has been around for a while. Um, why would anyone want to uh, do something else or try and improve on what already exists? Um, once you've stepped beyond that uh, first reaction, you actually realize, next slide please, that there's a lot of uh, things that are great with the web, but there's also a lot of things that can be improved. And that's the approach that has been taken uh, with the Frogans technology. So the idea is not to say that what exists isn't good, it's to say, and this is really in the philosophy of the internet in general, how can we improve on what we already have and uh, can we identify areas where uh, the user experience, because that's ultimately the only thing that matters, uh, can be improved and can be better. Next slide, please. So when the web was uh, invented and we, we Obviously, um, many people are aware that uh, this um, year we were, um, have been celebrating the 25th birthday of uh, uh, the invention of the, of the World Wide Web by Tim, Tim Berners-Lee. Um, the world and the internet environment was a very different place. Uh, next slide. Since uh, that invention, uh, a lot of things have happened. Uh, things like the creation of a whole new way of using uh, the internet through mobile devices uh, like the iPhone and we can credit Steve Jobs and Apple for uh, starting that revolution. Um, obviously now as we move into a, a new era of mobile use, a lot of people are using the internet and accessing the internet through either mobile phones or, or tablets. So that has changed a lot and we'll look at why it's relevant to the Frogans technology in a minute. Another thing that's happened uh, since uh, Tim Berners-Lee created the web is that we've seen that it's not always something that's absolutely safe and that's secure for users. Uh, an example of that, obviously, is the uh, uh, um, Edward Snowden uh, scandal, um, where most people realize that uh, even uh, as far up as uh, um, the very highest echelons of state, there are uh, surveillance programs, there are uh, attempts to uh, break into people's data and to uh, take advantage of their use of the internet and their use of the web um, to try and understand or gain more information about them, obviously without their knowledge. So that's another area where in those 25 years of, evolu of evolution, um, we've realized that uh, the web isn't perhaps optimal in certain areas or isn't behaving exactly in the way that we'd like it to behave. Um, now, 
as we discussed at length yesterday, but I think it's important to just uh, remind everyone of this because it's not immediately obvious for people. Uh, people outside of this project and people that are not uh, technically savvy uh, often confuse the web and the internet and to them they are one and the same. That is obviously not the case. Uh, the internet was not invented by Tim Berners-Lee, for example. He invented a software layer, so something that sits on top of the internet core infrastructure and helps us use that infrastructure, for example, to gain access to content through a website. Um, so, Frogan sits exactly in the same place. The idea itself is to use the existing infrastructure. So, you, we're not changing um, anything major in terms of uh, access to the technology that uh, we are proposing. It is something that's simple, for both developers, uh, technical people, and users. And that's obviously very important as we look to boost the uptake of this new technology. Um, so why is it important? It's important because it's an attempt at correcting some of the things that I've described. And one of those aspects that's extremely important for users is obviously security. Frogans, as a technology, has a built-in uh, capacity to prevent malicious uh, uh, software or code from infecting a user's machine. And that's obviously very important because users are not able uh, to identify when those attacks take place, so they're not able to protect themselves. So they are currently, users of the World Wide Web, are reliant on either third-party uh, software or their own uh, knowledge to try and prevent attacks of this kind. That will not be the case with Frogans. That technology will protect them uh, from uh, this type of attack without them having to do anything. So that's obviously very powerful for users. Um, another thing that uh, has happened since the World Wide Web was invented is that the internet itself has become more, much more international. Obviously, uh, the expansion of the internet has been huge. And that expansion is now reaching into areas where English is not the standard default language, where ASCII is not the default character code, and where users would like to access the internet services uh, with their own alphabets, their own language, and using their own culture. And another important as aspect of the Frogan's technology is that built into that technology is this capability of using any script and any writing style to access uh, the Frogan sites, so the content that uh, is available, that is made available by this technology. Um, and as I mentioned earlier on with the uh, uh, slide with Steve Jobs on it, um, we're now in a multi-device world. Uh, that's a problem for web designers, web developers, people that uh, make internet uh, websites, sorry, websites uh, have to constantly uh, code for different devices and take into account the fact that people will be using different sizes of screens, different types of uh, operating systems, different types of environment uh, to use and access their sites. Once again, with the Frogan's technology, that problem disappears. You have uh, a capability, the, the built-in capability for the technology allows any developer to create a site only once. They only have to code for it once, and it will look the same and be rendered exactly the same on any device. So I'm sure you'll agree that's a very, very powerful feature to have. Um, now, Frogans, like the internet, there's a, there's a basic philosophy here, which I, I hope uh, by the end of tonight you will have uh, uh, fully grasped and understood. Uh, the basic philosophy is that this is something that is for everyone and that is open 
to everyone, just like the internet. The very reason that Frogans is able to exist is because the internet is open and allows innovation, allows new developments. That's exactly the same with the Frogans technology. It is supported by a non-for-profit organization, OP3FT, and that organization's mission is to make sure this technology always stays available freely and to everybody. And it means that anybody can come in and improve the technology. Another important feature uh, as this technology rolls out. So it means, for example, that developers uh, can either choose to use the existing technology to develop sites in a, in a faster, easier, more user-friendly way, or they can actually uh, look at the te technology itself and develop new uses for that technology and new means of, of working with that technology. For users also, um, it's an important factor because uh, the technology itself, as it's uh, presented now, already allows them to have a safer, more user-friendly experience. The uh, uh, multi-platform feature that uh, I mentioned earlier on is obviously important for that because um, they, will ha they will have the same user experience whether they're using a very small mobile phone or smartphone, a tablet or a desktop. Uh, that means they don't have to change their habits to suit the machine. It's the other way around. That's really the way it should be. So um, that, in a nutshell, is why we think the Frogans technology matters. And um, we're looking forward. This is, this is a, a, a forward-looking project, uh, even though it's a project that's been going on for a lot of years because the scope of the project is really impressive. It's immense. Uh, but it is a forward-looking project. And what are we looking forward to? We're looking forward to that time when those people that aren't on the internet right now, um, estimates put uh, the number of users around the world at around 2.7 billion uh, currently. Um, and uh, as we've seen with initiatives from Facebook and others, um, that's only the tip of the iceberg. There's a lot of other people on the planet, and those people will be coming to the internet through mobile devices, through the ability ability to use their own scripts, through the ability to view content in low bandwidth um, environments or low memory, uh, on low memory devices. So they need something that is suited to their language, their culture, and their technical environments. And we think Frogans is it. Thank you very much.